All right, let's do it. Uh, we have a lot of tabs today. Yes, I saw the ban list. I didn't upload it because I forgot to, but it was basically this. Right, right, right. Not Sexel, no, not Sexel. Why, God? Uh, that's basically what I did. Everything else was like, all right. Um, and then I immediately bought, <laughs> I immediately bought Bardiche, like seven copies at like 75 cents each. And I was like, score. But now they're only like two bucks, but still like that low of a buy-in is pretty nice. So Pot of Prosperity is at now a hundred dollars. I'm like, okay. Like I got this card. I got, I pulled one and I'm like, mm, this would be a good time to sell. Is it selling now? Totally fine. However, like I just have the one copy. You only need the one copy. I might just hold on to it. If it hits like 120, 140, I'll sell. And I think you guys should do the same. <clears throat> so blue eye stuff. So blue eye stuff is like, did I do it? Uh, yeah, there it's over there. So blue eye stuff. Legendary Duelist has basically calmed down to the lowest it's ever going to be, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so get your copies now. Maybe you can find like a seller that has a 99 cents shipping thing and has multiple copies at some point. Maybe you can pick that to reduce your overall price that you're paying per copy. Um, but this card right here, I don't think people are looking at it um, as much, so you could definitely pick that up. This card, yo, it's like... Remember how fucking high this shit went before? Just saying, it's on. A, it's on. It cooled back down. So if you want to get back in this, like I did, I basically. I want to say I paid about this. I want to say I paid six to seven dollars a copy of these unlimbs, and I paid twenty five for the first eds. Yeah, I paid 25 at the time for first eds, and now they're at like that. So, and even the first eds were like 50 men, now they're at 47. Just saying, like, I would, if you haven't got in on this, I, this is, this is okay. You know, this guy's got 100%. This probably, guy probably just hasn't sold in a while. So I would pick these up, like this right here, like get a play set, and you're going to just watch this thing fly through the roof. Um, for 20 bucks, this is going to turn into like 60, which is not bad. Blue eyes. I like. What do I need to say? So, um, <clears throat> what you call it? Union carrier got banned. Um, so this card definitely takes a hit, but I still think it's a good card. I think you should pick up one. It was like six dollars, seven dollars before Union carrier got hit. Now it's at five. It might go down to three, but keep an eye out on this one. Bingo machine go is eight dollars. Let's see, eight dollars. So yeah. I mean, I picked mine up at nine, but I still believe it's a blue eyes thing. So yeah, this card, um, I think I picked up at a dollar each. I think that this card is just gonna keep continuously going up. Oh, well, I guess it's $2. Um, so yeah, you know, if I were to try to buy it right now, I don't see anything with multiple listings and one price. Dude, there's a lot of weird sellers on here right now with 99 cents shipping. Yeah, I don't know. I would <clears throat> I would definitely pick this up though. And I'm talking about the normal one, not the the colored ones. I mean, you could, but I think that the gold one looks the best. Master because we're getting a Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dark deck, you know? Um do I think it's a good pickup? Probably. Let me see. So there was this one and there was the other one. And I want to say this one looks better. Um, just a thing to keep your eye out, eye out for, um, cause Cyber Dragon's probably going to be going up. More Blue Eyes stuff. I picked up like at least six of these at 12 each, I want to say. Yeah, about 12 because I remember at the time this was 16 or $20 because they bought out that and this was less looked at and I was like, or I may even paid like 10 for these and I was like, this makes no sense. Like, this is like the only printing of this card. It's secret rare. Like, buy. This is $11. 
Do I think it's going to get a buyout soon? <clears throat> Not necessarily soon. Eventually? Absolutely. Um, so Dragon Maids, because of the Chamber Dragon Maid, uh, which gets you tidying and stuff, I just think that this is something you could consider. Because, you know, Wind Dragon is becoming a thing due to Arm Dragon, but... Is Arm Dragon good right now? Absolutely not. It's absolutely terrible. But I love the deck. I'm playing the deck, doing everything I can to incorporate it. Um, and hopefully Arm Dragon gets like, you know, some more support and stuff. But this is not bad. You know, you can you can um, you can send Tiding, you know. It's the same thing as Chambermaid, right? Because you special summon it, you send Tiding. And then Tidying is a banish from Graveyard, so it's not as good as um, Chambermaid, but, you know, I don't see why not. Is it downtime? No, it's not downtime. Where's Tidying? Not over here. It's somewhere else. But, uh, oh, and if you're, to, if you're ever interested in Dragon Mage or that person or whatever, uh, the maximum gold versions are all really cheap right now. You can definitely get like as much of the core as you can right now. This is a good pickup, I want to say, at this price. I think that this will go higher. Is it worth investing in? No. Uh, you're only going to, this is probably only going to go like 100 in the next three years. I want to say it could, you know, like very well one day hit like 200, 300. Um, but if you are thinking about getting this one, I think that this could easily go to 100 in the next year. So just to, if you were going to get it, like just get it now. Um, this is only a dollar. Too bad nobody has a bunch of copies to sell you. Something like that would be nice. But this is, this is like something that I believe will go up because a lot of the maximum gold uh, cards are going up in value. This would be a good pickup. Why? Because it's a rare, and I believe all the other ones are like. Does it have? I'm pretty sure it has an ulti rare printing, but common, common, rare, common, common, super rare, super rare, rare. So it doesn't even have like a secret rare printing or something. I'm pretty sure there's an ulti rare printing, but you know, like a middle ground between super rare, rare, and ultra rare would be this uh, gold rare, right? So not a bad pickup. And if we see the prices of the other ones, it's way higher. Rota. This gold Rota looks uh, not bad. Um, I think that the um, the gold one ofs, like there are a lot of cards in here that are one ofs uh, limited, and I think if you get those, they're not bad. And you can buy 173 from this guy for 55 cents each, or you could buy 912 by this by Ch dude. Child Child Productions is always out there fucking with like one billion copies of every fucking set. It's insane. Uh, this card is a generic, even though Virtual World is dead. <laughs> rip, rip, Virtual World. Uh, even though it's dead, I think it's it's as dead as um, it's as dead as uh, Noble Knights post uh, the snap, the freaking the the card that rips a card out of your hand. It's like Snatch or something like that. Uh, oh, go. <sighs> Forget it. But this card is generic. I still think that, you know, I mean, I guess you could wait for the Megatins for this generic, but you know, like, I don't know. I think that this could go up. Now that I think about it, fuck it. Don't pick this up. But if you want to, I wouldn't blame you. No, I wouldn't say you're an idiot. Somebody else might. Hmm. So this didn't get hit. Well, that's nice. Or it's not nice, but you know. Fucking Alistair survives another ban list. It's been like over a year now. 
So remember when I saw this card at like $16, $17 and I was like, yo, fucking show this card the respect it deserves. Finally, we've got it back to 30. I bought like six of these at 30 each when it first came out because I was like, oh my God, this card is so hard to pull. Because I fucking bought like six boxes, I want to say, and I didn't pull one. And I was like, fuck. Okay, maybe it's four boxes, but still, fuck. Um, yeah, I think it's, um, still think there are a lot of copies out there. Sure, yeah. But do I think it's gonna just keep going up? Remember, like, the fundamentals here. Only printing, it's secret rare, like, huge demand. It's a fucking amazing card. Like, this thing, fundamental-wise, will go up. Yes, there was a lot of product opened. Whatever. Um, so Battles of Legend Armageddon. So what else What else can we buy from the set, right? Well, this card, like remember win stuff, this thing is a negate. I'm pretty sure. Yes, because it's like when a monster on the field activates its effect. Um, so that means you can, you know, put up a board. This is just a rank three. Yeah, you could have like Totem Bird, I believe it's called, um, or just some other thingy mabobber, but you know, maybe pick some of these up, 25 cents, maybe. Um, do I think it's gonna go super high? But no, if you're buying something from Battles of Legend Armageddon and your seller already has one of these, just yeah, you know, add play set of 75 cents each. No problemo. Um, I was going to say, like, get these, but then I was like, you know what? The structure deck one is, like, the structure deck one. It's cheaper, actually. Um, this is still a good card. I don't understand why it's not at least a dollar, you know? Um, yeah, you only need one of, but, you know, it's... This thing can fucking OTK, you know? It's freaking 200 for every banished card. So that means it gains, um, you know, 2,000 attack for freaking for freaking just hitting pot of desires you know anyways this okay so i i remember saying like a card will never go above 45 dollars an ultra rare it's now at 60 and that's all i have to say like this card is like not even good like come on like yeah it's good but it's not like no Y'all stupid. This is stupid. Like, no, it's no, no. Just stop. Just stop. You could pick this up. I want it. Can it go up? Yeah. Will it go down? Probably not, but like, do you really want this? Maybe. Is there a first item? No, okay. So, um, this card, you know, Dragoon. Oh, no, I don't want this card. I was thinking about the other card. What is it? Here it is, Return of the Red Eyes. But they don't have this in Secret Rare, do they? They have it in Ultra Rare, I know for sure. Yeah, that is, that is where that's at. I thought this was this card, but Return of the Red Eyes is kind of fun. You know, if you control Red Eyes, so you don't have to target your Dragoon, and you have a normal monster in your graveyard, you know, on their turn, you can special summon your Red-Eyes Black Dragon, special summon it, and then what you could also do is, um, and, it, and it's not like if that, if this card is destroyed, destroy that card, then on your turn, you can special summon the Dark Magician in your, in your um, graveyard. It's searched off uh, Darkness Metal Dragon, Black Metal Dragon, that's what it's called, and, uh, like just another search target. And then if it's destroyed, you can target one Red Eyes monster in your graveyard. For example, Red Eyes Dragoon, you can bait them, but then also you can, um, yeah. So that's not, that's not bad. I think, I, I already have a play set of these, but just saying like, it's a cool card. It's not, it's not a bad card at all. And on your turn with the, red eyes and the dark magician you can make a rank seven and there's a new rank seven card it's at i'm we're going to talk about it at the end 
Access code talker is at $100. Is it the time to sell? I think so. I mean, this thing kind of been bouncing back and forth between 60 and 100. Do I think it's gonna go above 100? <clears throat> Very possibly, but just slightly over due to the fact that we are now, you know, oh, they might release the, or announce the Megatons, you know? And so, like, if you have it and you're not using it kind of thing, I, I recommend selling it. This thing went up from 20. I, I think I bought one copy at 20. Or no, I pulled two of these and I was just like, uh, should I sell it at 20? Because just I just like wanted to get rid of it. But now it's at 30. So it's a first edition secret rare ghost girl, 18 bucks. This card just like won't go up. I don't know what it is, but it just like won't go up. This motherfucker right here is just like, hey, I'm a God tier card. I can buy myself a freaking, I can make, I can make you try plant by myself in addition to just so much other bullshit I can do for you, I can make myself a tuner and make Christian needle fiber for you, but why but why won't you why won't you pay attention to me, Senpai? So Colossus did not come off the ban list, which makes me very sad, right? Right? Fair enough, fair enough, Konami, fair enough. The card's still busted and I agree. In the today's format, it'd be too easy to summon slash whatever. I don't care, I want it back, okay? And you know the reason why, like the number one reason why they're like, we gotta ban Colossus before fucking Eternity Code comes out is because of this card, okay? So pick up your playset now while it's still like sub 50 cents. Um, because if they do, because people just forget that this was the reason why it was banned. I mean, it's not the reason why it was banned, but it was the reason why it wasn't limited and it was banned. Does it make sense? Um, because this card right here would literally just like summon Colossus immediately because it immediately hits the requirement of being a thunder monster and activating from the hand. Ah, oh, amazing. And it's wind. So we going up, we going up boys. I uh, I bought a whole play set of like this stuff when um, Golden Lord was a hundred each. I bought two Golden Lords. Now it's at 50 by the way, so it's climbing back up and I'm so happy. Dude, I think post, I think after that shit, oh my God, those Golden Lords went down to like $10 or something. It was insane. I was just like, how could you be selling these secret? They used to be $100. They went down to like $10. That was like insane. Insane. Um, yeah, but these are going to... I think these are going to keep going up, especially because it didn't get hit. But I was able to sell my Cursed Eldlands, the one that searches, um, for 30 each. Now they're at 50 but I only got those for like six bucks each or something like that so we plus there we negged off the golden lords and now i got these at like i want to say a dollar each two dollars each so we're gonna plus off these and we're gonna go we're gonna break even off the golden lords unless the golden lords keep going up in which case we're just gonna start plussing i would say we're probably in the neg Oh, wait, but I plussed off of the, no, the black one. Yeah, because I got these at 10 each and I sold them for 20. So we are, we're getting there. We're getting there. Same thing. They're going up. They were cheap. They're going up.
I just included this in this because at some point I was like, hey, this is only a dollar. I think this is the next thing to go up. Even if it was $2, but yeah. Child Productions, uh, fucking holding the line. Fucking this guy, this shut. <laughs> This guy right here needs to get into like GameStop, like the stock, you know, because he can hold the line, okay, by himself. The dude. I forget how much I want to say these were like. No, I think these haven't moved, but we'll see. These are going up, like, like these are going up. All right. Do I say get them now? Maybe but these are going up. This, I was like, get now. I think I got them at five when they were still $5. And I was like, oh man, like best card ever. Super plus, just busted. Prismatic secret rare, basically highest rarity. Like, yeah, they can come, up, come out with ulties, but you know. I wonder how much I paid for for Borload Savages. I want to say 12 bucks and I bought like six. <laughs> because again, remember how much freaking the ultra rare printing was for this thing? It was like a hundred dollars. And now you're telling me you could get a prismatic secret rare, which, you know, I didn't think it was going to look better, but it does look better, I think. It's got a ghost rare vibe to it because it's just so flashy as fuck. Um, yeah. And they go up to 14. It's just what it's at right now. But let's keep an eye out on this. If you don't already have a Borlet Savage Dragon, what are you doing? Um, this is going up. I bought these at 10, I want to say. Now they're already up at 16. They can continue to go up, absolutely. This card, okay, I'm pretty sure I bought a bunch of these, but how many did I buy? Ooh, Kemp's collectible holding the line at seven though. I think I think selling this at this price, if you have a bunch of these, just for some reason, I would sell them now. I don't think it's gonna go that much higher, so. Mystic Mine, I remember these were like five or three bucks when I talked about them last, I think. And now they are a lot more. So yeah, I think it's because of the ban list, right? And if you th thought about it, Mystic Mine, yeah, it was a consideration on the ban list, which is why probably people were willing to, p to sell it for less, but it didn't get hit. And you know, I'm, Mystic Mine is really not an issue right now, or not a lot of people use it. Like it's, Basically the reason why everybody like plays that back row removal mostly, you know, but need that. So Dragon Link didn't get hit, which is amazing because I'm a Dragon Link player. Um, now trying to incorporate Arm Dragon, but this is like a card that's commonly put in there as well. So by association, you should get this card. Dragon Link's going up. This is a Dragon Link card, more or less. This guy will sell it to you for freaking almost $2 a copy. Highest rarity, basically. Let's go. Crackdown. So that's like another card from this whole like 2020 tin lost of memories that the whole thing has gone up, except for Appalosa. Rip. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a good card. I think um, this is a good card. For 220, not bad, not bad. This is also a good card. I mean, is it the highest rarity? Okay, so it's two bucks here. It is nine bucks there. Does the secret rare version look amazing? Absolutely. Does this look like trash compared to it? Yes, but for two bucks, it's not bad. It's not bad. You can get, nope, you can. Okay, here we go. This guy will sell it to you for an average of 133 a copy. If you buy place it, that's not bad. This card is really good. You know, you just, it's on the, on your opponent's turn. You know, you banish the top, was it eight cards? And then on your turn, you can just banish three from your extra deck and then, yeah. And then there was that card we were talking about. It was like gains attack off banished cards. 
This card is a good pickup. Ooh, this guy will sell you it for 34%. I might buy this. Yo. I, you know, get the $5 min and get as many copies as this is possible because one, it's so easy to make, right? Like, and it's that three arrow, right? So, so you can make the goddamn thing off of uh, Christian Needle Fiber and then boom, you've got a freaking live ass LP and Pisty. And then because you're potentially playing Blue Eyes or you're playing um, Blue Eyes with the deck in Dragon Link or you're playing uh, Red Eyes Dragoon. So you'll have two Dark Magician and Red Eyes. That's like five cards you can pop. You can destroy effect monsters up to the number of, right? And cannot be destroyed but battled by an effect monster. Oh, but if you control no other effect monsters. But, you know, it's still good because of the arrows. And it's 34 cents. And it's the highest rarity. Yeah. Blue eyes. This is, all I want to say is this is low. Blue eyes stuff always goes up. This was super hype due to, you know, and now it's super low due to Zexel being banned. But does not matter because this shit right here is worth your money as an investment, in my opinion. Because if you get this shit at if you get this shit at 28 cents a copy, I think this will go up. I don't know. I I I, I would get those. This is going up. Do I think you should sell it? No. I think this could keep going up now that like Dragoon is on the hype train. I think it could hit 60. At 60, I'd consider selling. But I also think that this card deserves to be banned. I think this card deserves to be banned more than Union Carrier. Yeah, that's just my opinion. This card should also be banned, but anyways, this card's going up, so oh my god. What a meme. This guy right here. Great card. Great card. How much are the how much are the ulti rares? Right now. A hundred dollars. Wow. Ninety. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. That's not that's um that's amazing. Sell this card. You can pick these up, I wanna say. Six uh at an average cost of 170. That's still okay. I do think that these are just gonna keep going up though, so it's kind of hard um, to, you know, so I would recommend picking up a playset for yourself or just one. Um, and the whole dual overload is also like the cards in it are just starting to go up, right? We're finally there. We're finally two, three years. No, it's not two years. It's been a year since this has come out. But after like the two, I wanna say after the two year mark, cards from that set usually start going up. But we are at the um, one year mark of this thing, basically. And uh, we're starting to see those low, used to be a dollar, this used to be 70 cents, this used to be a dollar. Like, you know, those these cards, all these whatevers are starting to go back, are starting to go back up from the absolute bottom. And we'll start to see that some more. This card, I bought 100 copies of this card at like 10 cents. I, bet, I think I spent like 10 bucks, so. I, I am praying for the day. You could already say that it's, it's already at a dollar fifty, and I'm like, yo, it's already at a dollar fifty. I'm about to plus so hard if this keeps going up. Oh my god, because I just this card is so busted, you know, infinite negate, and that's like amazing card. You should consider card. You should consider. <laughs> You know, Sky Strikers, whatever. This card, A, you can pick up this at a dollar each. And it, again, this has got real nostalgia, like only printing, you know, a dollar each. That's nothing for an investment. Go for it. This is a good card. Go for it. Cyber Dragons are getting the structure deck. I already talked about it. So this is like the highest rarity of it. So pick it up. Like super good, super good. Well, it's not the highest, highest rarity because there's also like the red, green, blue of these, but that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. I think that, and this card is so not bust. Like you could play three of this. I mean, you probably, 
like guaranteed to play one of these if you play Cyber Dragons. But you could play three of these. That's how good this card is right here because, you know, you get to add if it if you bait them into popping it and then you can just like this isn't cost either banish whatever that's not cost so if they negate this it's not cost okay so this is a this is a good pickup um is it four though oh, they were a little bit cheaper now they're higher but hopefully you can still get in on this four bucks but basically um Zeus can be made off of this really easily, right? So you have your two, and it, if it's destroyed by battle or um, card effect, you can just, like, remove a card. So, you know, you could run this into a bigger monster, and you could just detach, um, right? And then instead of... Uh, you can only use this effect. Okay, so... Like, for example, you run it in, you detach, they try to negate and destroy, you detach, and then you just overlay with, like, two more of the, uh, you do a rank 10, the one that, like, does 2,000 damage, then you rank over the Dreadnought, and then you rank over Zeus, and then boom, like, you know? Um, so, you know, this is nice. Like, you could get one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I wish there was a sixth on that one. But if, uh, what is this? No, you can't really attach. It'll, the max here is five, I believe, so unlucky, but yeah, this is a really good pickup. Ugh, two, it went up from two when I saw them last, so now four. Um, but you can get freaking, you can get these at 25 cents each. Sarujas, have they, they they're, are they starting to finally go up? Mm, I don't know, probably not. These things have been a dollar forever. But the, ooh, the secret rares, ooh, the extreme force is five bucks. I'm telling, why, you know, Saruja, man. This card's a okay pickup. Yes, yo, finally, I got these things at like three dollars each. Three to six. I want to say three to six. I really want to say three, though, because I was like, this card right here is nut busted, all right? Because it just, like, plays through so many things and just, like, it's just so easy to make. Anyways, should I sell now? Should I wait for it to go higher? Oh, that is a tough decision, my guy. I'm going to hold out because I believe... I just believe, but how much is this gonna go up? I guess selling at 30 would be wise. Selling at 40 would be like nice. Selling at like, if it goes anything above 40, I'd be like, ugh. Nasher, again, that was before. Um, these are pretty cheap right now. You can get these pretty low, the card of demise thing. If you don't have them and you're kind of new to Yu-Gi-Oh, like you probably don't have these, so you can pick these up and these might come off the ban list one day. Card of Demise, you know, it's for the, they're trying to buff maybe back row decks or something. Um, you know, for this to be the same rarity, they look the same. They just, you know, this is the first edition printing, but you can get this at a dollar. It's already a dollar. These things, I think this is going to keep going up. It's not that hard to make, especially with Boral Savage um, and the um, the Chaos Magic Ruler, the one that um, has been raising in price, I think, in Rise of the Duelist. I think that this is, um, if you don't already have a bunch of these from buying a bunch of dual power, what was in dual power? Yeah, if you don't already have a bunch of these, what was in dual power? This is it? I'm sure there was like some card that you were like, oh my god, it's dual power, let's go. Damn, this, I, get, I guess I guess it was this and this. I think everybody was hyped about the fact that there was evenly matched in there. Oh, this was the Link monster. There was a bunch of new Link monsters in this set. That's what it was. Um, and people were really happy about it. A lot of uh, Necroz stuff was in here and people were hyped about that. Um, yeah. Rusty Bartishes are at two dollars. I got them at seventy five cents. Are they gonna keep going up? They were like they were like six bucks, I wanna say, or even four bucks 
I want to say six bucks for like a hot second right off the ban list, like the day after, but they were like 75 cents, like the moment of the ban list. Um, and like you can play multiple copies of this. I expected, I expected them to bring this to two. They just unlimited it. Wild. This goes all the way to $20 and then now it's back at six. Is that a good price to get in on them? I think so. First edition. Let's go. I'm just saying, go get them now. Because, like, this card is busted. I mean, you know, that non-wise, non-once per turn, if effect. Just, yeah. Highest rarity. Yo, I pointed these out when they were sub, like, right under $3. They're already at four. Already at. They're almost already at five dollars. Definitely. But this one, hey, this one might be the next one to rise. So check this one out. Do I think you should get a lot of these? No. Do I think you should get like maybe six? Potentially. These are low, more or less. Does anybody have multiple copies? Nope. But a lot of people wanted a pointers of Red Lotus and it was hard to get them. They were like super expensive. It's a dollar right now. It's a good card because it's that, you know, freaking, I'm gonna lose it if I can't figure out what this goblin card is and that used to be played in Noble Knights, the Snatch Thief, Time Thief, Snatch, Ah, I can't put the entire name, but have so much of it like I'm, that I'm verbalizing. Goblin of time. Oh, bitch. All right. This card you can pick up that's also like people were like, oh, terraforming's at one, so what are we going to do? This this was like at least 10, 20 bucks at some point, so you know, this is a good time to pick this up. And then, of course, this is a good time to pick these up. For sure, is Spirals gonna come back one day? They always do. So I think, I think it's worth definitely getting now. Especially the drone one. These are going up due to Armed Dragon. Uh, yeah. Do I think it's gonna go higher? Yeah, I think like, honestly, there's not a lot of copies of this. There's a lot of copies of this, Never mind. Torrential tributes. Like I remember this being actually at like eight, like a week ago or something like that. And like, is this like the highest rarity? It's not the highest rarity though. I would love. I think I have these. Do I not have these? I don't think. I don't think I have secret rares. But ooh, those look nice. Wait, what was that? Thirteen bucks. Oh no, it's for secret rare. Secret rare. Oh, and they have first aids over here. But that's so crazy that these are going up. Just saying, that's crazy. But this is, is this is a good card, so. This card, it's going up. Not really, but okay, so this card is absolute trash. Like, I don't even wanna read it, okay? I don't even wanna read it. I'm reading it, god damn it. Okay, so. <laughs> It's trash, but it's a red eyes card only printing at a high rarity. What was the, oh no, okay. Is that 14 bucks? Bro, these used to be like 60 cents and I, I think I told you, I'm pretty sure I told you guys to get these. I also probably have told you to get these at a dollar because I think, you know, these are gonna be like that only printing of these things kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Haha, <laughs> let's go. Um, I got these at a dollar each, and I was like, come on, it's blue. Like, I'm trying to tell you guys, blue eyes, up, always, um, never wrong on blue eye stuff. So you gotta get it at the lowest point. And like, this is, this is now, we're now going in the plus. How high can this go? No idea. But after these, no, after, 
Like this guy will sell it to you at 450. So this is already at like 450. <clears throat> This is a good pickup, especially since Invoked wasn't touched. <gasps> the secret rare is three dollars, and then it's basically like that. Yeah, this is a really good card, um, just because um, You could just special summon this thing, and I really want to say, like, you can negate this summon just by sending... Oh, wait. Actually, I don't know if this counts because, like, I don't... I'm pretty sure this doesn't count because it is also still a continuous trap, so for it to resolve, you need to, you know? But if it was destroyed by battle, you know, you can destroy the monster that destroyed this card. I don't know. But the point is... Oh, it's already raised this to 60 cents, but 25 cents was is a good pickup. Man. And it's honestly one of the harder cards to pull. Having bought four boxes of this and only pulling, you know. I think I got my play safe, but come on, get it. This card. Also, I'm sure, I'm sure this card's gonna go up at some point. Especially because it's not getting reprinted in the next megatons, you know? Like somebody somewhere is gonna be like. Let's go. Is this a good pickup? It seems like it. It's the same rarity as the other high one. No, it's the highest rarity. This one's only ultra. Come on, guys. Let's pick these up. Let's pick these up. We're almost at the end, boys. Come on. Let's see how. Hopefully, this is a sub 30 minute video. Hopefully, please. But like, I went through so many cards. Come on, give me the credit I deserve. This card was going up towards 10 bucks and then freaking Blink Ross was hit, but it doesn't matter. This card's still a very good card. So get your, get your card now. And it's the highest rarity, I think. Yeah, the highest rarity. This is $8 even the common summon limit is probably the best the best of the floodgates i really want to say because it's like basically like hey like it's just it's just so hard to play around it's just so hard to play around like all the other ones are just like you know but the game need the game needs you to summon a lot of shit. These are like cheap because this is basically highest rarity, right? No, it's not. There are two at the secret rare rarity. I would definitely get like a playset of like even both of these. Um, this is trash now though. To, like, don't even touch the super rares though. Um, but. Will they do an ulti rare of this? Probably. Um, is there an alternate art of this? I'm sure there's gonna be one, but this is not bad at all to pick up at this price. So this card, so Foolish Burial is at one. Is this the highest rarity? I wanna say there's like a champion pack that's higher. Yeah, like a turbo pack, whatever. Ultra rare, secret rare, lost art printing. Um, so one I just showed you was this, I believe, and secret rare, and I'm sure, and I think I've seen it, it's super nice. This thing used to be higher, it's now nine bucks. Consider picking one of these up. Um, it's just not used in the current format as much, but Foolish Burial for a while was used in every deck. This card went the fuck up, nine bucks? Yeah, we're at nine bucks. You could have got these at like two, like off the rip, three dollars maybe. But if you still don't have a, like at least one copy of this, I'd pick it up now. I would pick it up now. But if you, if you were the person that bought a lot of Heroes Revenge and have like a lot of these in the bulk area, 
that you probably were like, oh, that's only like $2, it's not even worth selling right now. It's now worth selling. Or you could hold it for a little bit longer. I think that these could easily hit 10 and then sell at 10, maybe even more. But this card's just so good, man, you know? Like, it's just right now, Link 4 or XC's 4s are just not in, like, not in. Dra Glubion is fucking $12. This card's nuts. And by nuts, I mean it's just good. But we're at, we're at 12 bucks. All right, this is going to be the next, uh, is, do I have it? No, it's going to be the next Titanic, all right, in my opinion. And by Titanic, I don't even see it on here right now. It's on the other one, I think. A hun back to $100, that's crazy. It's fucking insane. I feel, I feel sad buying, like, a playset of these at 30. I was like, these are going to go up. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Feels bad. You can still get these, bro. Get those. High rarity. Search droplet and then special summon the thing that like prevents them from or any card is banished. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I want to see if it's oh he, this one. Yeah, you could send you could special summon that one. There's another option. But basically, like, no monsters can be special summoned except for light monsters, right? And it's got a thousand attacks, so it could easily be hit over. But the fact that you'd search Forbidden Droplet, and then during your opponent's main phase, you contribute this card, special summon one level four fairy, you know, it's like, it's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And it's the first, you know, secret rare, so it's the highest rarity, right? Yeah. Yo, this card is super cheap right now. Yeah, you can only play one, but this might come back to three. Kind of like um, Called by the Grave, right? So, just saying. This is, and that's the highest rarity. So, Dragon Mage change over. So, check it out. Wall, this, so, Tiding, is it, where's Tiding? I keep, why is it? There it is. Okay, here we go. So this is the card that, like, you can banish this card, right? Special summon one dragon made monster from your hand or graveyard. Um, but return to the hand. Okay, but who cares? But, yeah, this card is super good. It's worth $4. Wow. Um, probably going to keep going up because it's Rise of the Duelist. Like, it's going to, that, $4 is nothing, all right? It's Rise of the Duelist. So that means that shit's going to just break every expectation you have. But anyways, another card, the, the whole point of the tiding is it extends by allowing you to special summon, um, allowing you to special summon uh, it from the graveyard, right? But look at this. While this card is in the graveyard, you can target one dragon made monster you control, add this card to the hand, and if you do, um, return that monster to the hand. So um, also, 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 you can, Dragon Fusion Monster. Ooh, that could be helpful in general. Like, that's pretty generic, so that's cool. But, um... Like, you could do some, like, weird shenanigan, like, in, with this card. Um, returning, like, your Dragon Maid, whatever card, to your hand. And then... Like, do you also... Yeah, add this card and return... So you add two cards to your hand off this, like, this effect, right? And then what you could do is you could go to Saruja, and that's like an extra two draws right there because you just return these back to deck. It's a thought. These are at 60. I told you to get them at 38, 37. So congrats. We're only going up from here. Should I have gotten one? Absolutely. Level seven, they're buffing armed dragons indirectly. But this is a good one. This, is, this just negates. This just, oh wait, no. This destroys. It's, it's good. All right, well, that's the whole Market Watch. I'm a little delirious from talking this entire time. I hope you guys have a great day.